Hell yeah. What's up, man? This is dope as hell, yo. I like the segregation up front. You have white people, black people, more Mexican dude. This is awesome. This is great. Y'all can't tell, but my dad is actually white, just like your dad. So I'm, I'm very comfortable up here in front of you, sir. Very comfortable. <laughs> but it's different, though. It's different. Like, if you tell somebody you have a white dad, they're like, yeah, obviously, I can see your haircut. Like, it's not... It's a, it's a simple math. That's just simple, okay? I tell somebody I have a white dad, and they're like, wow. Yo, how black is your mom? Hey, yo, don't do that shit. Don't, don't do that. I'll fight you, bro. Chill out, man. It's, it's unnecessary, man. And she's a normal amount. She's a very normal amount of black. She's like, she's like two steps below Wakanda. It's beautiful. I love her to death, man. She's still one of the most aggressive people I've ever met in my life. Just like most moms. Do I have any moms in here tonight? Where my mom's at? Okay. Okay, don't sound too, too happy. It's like right there in the middle. It's like, why'd you make me remember? That's normally what it is. Moms are some of the most aggressive and most complainingest people I've ever met. And I don't know what, like moms, what? Like what was so hard? Like I don't get it. I mean, I understand. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I know you had to carry us for nine months and that was annoying. And then you gave birth and that was extremely painful and your body never went back to normal. Looks like you got into a fight with a tiger down there. All for this kid to just grow up and he's always touching stuff in the store. Even though in the car you told him not to touch anything. Now that's more money you got to spend because he breaks some shit. And now you put him on punishment. You tell him to go and clean his room. He cleans it, but he'll never do it right. You got to go back after him and clean it again. Now his birthday come around. Now that's more badass little kids in your house touching all your stuff and eating all your food. Little boy, you had three slices of cake. Don't nobody feed you at your house. You didn't think it was time for you to stop at any time. And then now the weekend comes around. And all of a sudden, he want to go hang out with his daddy because he's the fun parent playing basketball and football and shit. But as soon as he get a boo-boo, he want to run inside of you. Looks like your daddy wasn't too good with the nails, sporting and band-aids now, was he? Offer him to just grow up and be an unappreciative-ass adult who doesn't like the loving and tender things that you post about him on Facebook. I mean, other than that, like... <laughs> like, what did we do? You know, like, I don't... <laughs> No, I'm really glad that y'all enjoyed that because you don't know how big of a waste of time that'd be for me to practice that in my living room like I did. Like, <laughs> my dogs just look at me like I've lost my mind. They're just like, bro, there's nobody here. What are you? Bro, we're not going to eat on time today, man. I swear. Every time he starts talking to himself and saying thank you in the house, we don't eat. They don't understand I'm telling these jokes for them. I'm trying to take them from kibbles and bits up the blue buffalo status one day. <laughs> telling these jokes, man, and they don't care. And I love them. Don't get me wrong. I love my dogs to death, man. But I love them a normal amount. Here in California, it's too damn much, people. It's too much. You don't need to bring your dog everywhere. It's unnecessary. Leave your dog at home. There's never been a time where someone was elevated in their brunch experience because there was more dogs around. It's never. Leave them out. Do you know how good it feels to come home and just get hit with all that dog energy at the end of a rough day? As soon as you walk in the house, they're like, oh shit, guess who's home? My friend's home. Let's go play. You're perfect. You don't make mistakes. I love you. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's what they're trying to say, but that's how I receive it. Okay. And it's, it feels amazing, bruh. Y'all take your dogs everywhere. You can't do that where I'm from. I'm originally from Virginia. The shit that y'all do with your dogs out here, hell yeah, man. You can't do that shit over there. Try bringing your big ass Siberian Husky into a Walmart on the East Coast, all right? I promise it won't work the way you planned. There'll be a sassy black lady right there at the front door. Uh, excuse me, sir, you can't bring a damn wolf into Walmart, okay? Can't do it, man. But I love it. I love living here in California. This is actually where me and my lady moved, and uh, this is where I actually proposed to her. We're engaged now, planning our wedding. It's a beautiful thing, man. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I'll tell you guys how I proposed to her. So it was, uh, it was actually on my birthday when I proposed. And that may sound selfish, but I wanted her to know that on my birthday, she's the greatest gift that I could ever ask for on my birthday, man. That's some smooth shit, yo. That is, that's cold-blooded right there, man. So we were out on the beach. I proposed to her right there in the sand. It was like sunset. She said, yes, obviously, look at me. And there was people around there clapping. I'm getting high fives, hugs. I'm kissing babies. I signed a titty. I've never signed someone's titty for comedy. He just pulled it out. He didn't care who saw it. He was like, yo, yo, this lit. I was like, all right, let's do it, man. Some dudes came down. They were like, yo, we saw what you did. Congrats. They paid for all of our food and drinks the whole evening. It was beautiful. Now, the next night, me and my lady went to dinner at a classy spot, and I got the bill. I was like, baby, let me see the ring real quick. I got an idea. She's like, what you need it for? I said, I bought it. Don't be stingy. Just give it to me, okay? 
Y'all, I swear, I got down and proposed again in this restaurant. The place went nuts. We got free champagne. <laughs> Smart, y'all. The manager came from the back. He was like, sir, we just wanted to say thank you so much for choosing our restaurant for this once in a lifetime experience. I was like, of course, man. Olive Garden is one of our favorite spots, bruh. I proposed nine times in six days. Shit was lit. Hey, my name is James Hancock III. Thank y'all.